am uh, Georgia Salanti. I am a mathematician by training and I have been working on uh, synthesis of evidence from studies in mental health for the last 15 years, I guess. And I, I would say I'm now a methodologist of systematic reviews and statisticians. Okay, so the, the way I see Galenos is that we are trying to navigate through the ocean of mental health research, trying to identify promising routes. Promising routes for new treatments, for novel diagnostic tools, or more accurate predictions. And um, the way we do that is by identifying, uh, collecting and evaluating experiments from animal studies or uh, human studies, studies in, uh, carried out in patients with various mental health disorders, synthesize the evidence and find out what, uh, what could be the best way forward, whether a particular new drug, let's say, that, or a new compound that has been tried in uh, animals worth the money for further exploration or it is a lost case. So what we do is the following, for a particularly promising or assumingly promising uh, drug, we collect all experiments in animals that have been carried out with that particular compound and all few, most of the time, experiments or studies that have been carried out in humans. We evaluate the studies according to their quality, we synthesize the studies and then we call what um, is known as a triangulation meeting. That means that around the table we will be um, patient representatives, clinicians, experts in animal research, neuropharmacologists, uh, methodologists, and we will consider the evidence coming from these two different sources, animal research and human research, and decide whether this new route that we think we discovered, is it going to lead to anywhere or, we, or not? And if it is to, to lead to somewhere, what do we need? Do we need more data? Do we need what kind of research in order to establish this new intervention or new diagnostic test? In Galenos, we ask many and different research questions, not only about the effect of interventions, in which case mostly randomized or controlled experiments uh, will be considered uh, to provide reliable evidence. But we are asking, in order to, to identify something promising, we don't need to look at new things. We can look at old things and ask ourselves, how do they work? For example, it is known that exercise helps people with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, to cope with the symptoms of their condition. But no one knows how exercise works. By looking at the mechanisms of action uh, in exercise studies, we can potentially identify the mechanism of action and act directly there. For example, it is hypothesized that exercise moderates the levels of a particular protein in the brain, BDNF it is called, and high levels of that protein help people cope better with their condition. So if that is the case, if we identify studies that um, claim that uh, and they are reliable and their synthesis suggests so, then we can develop or find ways to act directly on BDNF, on, on that particular protein. This kind of studies, they are called mediation analysis studies, where we first ask people to exercise and then measure the levels of BDNF uh, after they exercise. We do that in several uh, time slots. And then finally, we see whether their, um, the symptoms from uh, PTSD change and they get uh, better. So such mediation analysis studies are identified within Galinos, are collected, the results synthesized, and then they are taken to the triangulation meeting where the experts in the field, but also people with lived experience, will decide whether that's a promising idea or not. We are studying primarily emerging risk factors, treatments, or diagnostic tools. So in many of these areas, uh, research is thriving, more studies are done, experiments are carried out, and they are published frequently. So 
we have chosen the model of living systematic review, meaning that we regularly update our database, we incorporate the new studies that they are published in our uh, central depository, and they are automatically translated into results via some computer programs we've been developing, and so that the evidence is kept up to date.